Hello again. I am glad you are well. By the way, I have a random question for you. Do you happen to watch anime at all? Uh, well, the reason for my question is... I remembered there was this anime, and it was based on a game I replayed that long ago. Because it was such an opportune moment, I decided to go ahead and watch it. The anime completely enraptured me, and I forgot all about my work. That is just the way life goes sometimes, I suppose. I know the ending from the game, and it is because I already know what happens that I cannot watch it without tears filling my eyes. Oh, oh my. I did not come here today to discuss this with you. Today, I thought we could speak about our hobbies. It is a common way to learn about one another, is it not? My most beloved hobby is, of course, gaming. Not far behind, however, is my burning passion for tea. Delicious tea is the perfect beverage for both playing games and completing work. A great many of my skills have earned their names from some of my favorite blends of tea. Were you already aware of this? I find it so enjoyable to visit a tea shop and try all of the blends they have available. The fragrances are always so lovely and charming. I usually only drink the brands that I am fond of, but I also like to shake things up and try new brands here and there. Oh, yes! Not long ago, a dear friend of mine taught me a special method of brewing jasmine tea. Today would have been the perfect day to attempt it. However, I am quite tired from playing for God it... <clears throat> from working late last night. Perhaps Darjeeling would be more appropriate, considering its ability to help with fatigue. But, but, I have just learned that new technique... Dear me, I cannot decide. Should I just brew jasmine after all? Of course I should. It is decided. She did teach me how to brew it after all, and I'd like to give her my feedback. According to my friend, it also has the ability to raise someone's chances of finding love. Although I'm not certain of its efficacy. I have an idea. This is perfect. I will think of you while I drink it. <laughs> Did your heart skip a beat? Do not fear. It is only a test. Oh, is it time already? <sighs> I was hoping that we could speak more. All right, I will take my leave for the day. <laughs> so, you finally arrived. You're General of Female Joss, I assume. Indeed. I'm the leader of the top secret organization, Apimax. General Apimojas. I knew the leader of this organization would be no ordinary person, but what is this aura? He's way more hyped up than that moody ninja from earlier. Well, he certainly has that final boss feel, so this General Effie whatever must certainly be the last boss. Final answer! That doesn't matter now! Our objective is to crush Affy Max and return the world back to its normal state! I will not allow it. A peaceful world will make me no usable profits. It's useless. Profits? Could it be... Did you just change the world so you can make some money? That's right. Money is everything. A world stained in delusions is a money-making machine. 
an endless fountain of cash. I will eliminate anyone who says they will block the flow of my fountain. If that's how it's gonna be, then we're gonna have to go all out from the start. <clears throat> Even if you all transform, the amount of shared energy you're able to receive is nothing but a few drops in the bucket. Are you so sure? We've worked hard starting from zero to gather the faith of the people. It was difficult at first, but in a way, we're more popular than Gold Third right now. But I mean, we were originally on top anyway, so of course that would happen. Our shares might be low compared to what they were before, but that doesn't matter. Even if we don't have a ton of shares, our feelings are strong. And that more than makes up for whatever share energy we're lacking. That's right. We're standing here now for the people who just want to have peace. We will destroy your greedy delusion with the willpower and strength of the people. I'll show you the power of less Leave patient this CPU. to me. To you. Leave it I'll to me! I'll make you the rust of the no! A little. No! no! I guess we have to do this. MPBL! Target locked! Yes. Now it's my turn to go on the offensive. Choose you. There! 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 Okay, I'll do this! Alright, I'll go calmly. 
Shall I do? Too slow! Yeah. Paris! It's my turn! Now, who shall I turn? Be a bird. That's really helpful. Perish! What? Eat this. Now, who shall I turn? <laughs> Let's end this. I no longer have doubts. Please prepare what? yourself! Now it's my turn to go on the offensive. Got you! Mm. Too slow! It is my turn. Too slow! This. Eat this! I'll make you the rust on my <laughs> sword. Ow! I no longer have doubts. I won't go easy! Please prepare what? yourself! Let's end this. I'll bring you down. Now it's my turn to go on the offensive. Too slow! Safe! Got you! What? It is my turn. There! Mm. Perish! Too slow! Out, little brat! All Wait, I can do 
you is some. <laughs> All right, I'll go calmly. Choose. Turn. Even stronger. Level up. I'll get stronger. Even stronger. Level up. I did it. But I'll try even harder from now. It looks like we've won. General, you made a huge mistake by trying to take us all on by yourself. We'll have you return the world to normal now. We'll also have you return the console you stole from the Basilicon. I suppose my time of reckoning is at hand. You've given up pretty easily. I thought that greed would have fueled a few more battles. Or oh, so you thought I'd say. He tricked us by pretending to be defeated? <laughs> I've defeated the CPUs! How can this be? It was only a single attack, but why can't I gather any strength? Our share energy's been cut off? I was a bit unconvinced. But to think this gem, embedded into my greatsword, has this much power hidden within! Gem? That light... Could that gem possibly be... 
Do you know what that is, Nipgear? I'm pretty sure that light is the same as the one that Arpor had around her in the Zero Dimension, as a counter to share energy! That light has the power to cancel our shares! That's why Nep and the others went down with just one attack. I can't believe he's wielding that gem. It can't be helped. R4 is one of his allies. It makes sense that he has access to it. That kind of cheat item is most cowardly. <laughs> what happened? Where did your fighting spirit run off to? Look and see. The CPUs have come to naught. They are as weak as mere children now. CPU candidates, return home and deliver this message. The CPUs have been defeated by General Apimojas and are now in my custody. But I wouldn't be so cruel as to take their lives. If you wish me to return your CPUs, then prepare a ransom of one gajillion credits per person. You're using us to make more money? That is correct. CPUs without power are nothing more than profitable tools. Compared to previous world prices, your values have lowered, but to those who need you, you still hold tight to high values. Even if you tell us that, we can't prepare a gajillion credits so soon? Don't speak to me this way! You will prepare them immediately! I can't believe we're being used like this! Just for money! This is humiliating! It's not as if this is the first time, now, is it? Even before the world changed, I've been using you lot to make a profit. Could it be the admin of that new summary site? Indeed. The admin of that general summary site is none other than I, Apimojas. Any topics about you, especially of scandals, were tremendously popular. So I took the liberty of summarizing half-truths. Thanks to that, my ad revenue skyrocketed. Although lately, in your place, Gold Third is being made a spectacle of. You've been the mastermind behind it all. The world has already changed. From one of peace to one swirling in delusion. You CPUs are already relics of a world long gone. Even Gold Third, those born to replace the CPUs, have had their golden summits crushed, and their strength is already a fading memory. From now on, you can watch from here, as the world is swallowed by a vortex of delusion as it burns in turmoil. <laughs> Sorry, but that isn't going to happen. Who's there? If we borrowed your words, I guess you could call us the spectacle that is the Gold Third. Hmm. Even if you were to assist them now, you will not be able to stop me. Or, perhaps, have you brought the ransom for the CPUs? That's right! What? One gajillion credits is super cheap. That? Bisha is saying one gajillion credits is super cheap? Well, after all, I have a debt to Nepnep -Nep that even one gajillion credits couldn't cover. That makes for a great story, but one gajillion isn't even an actual number. How horrible! How dare you hurt my noir! Take this, CPUs. This is... a share crystal? This isn't any old share crystal. It was created by combining the shards of our gold crystals. It's called a hyper share crystal. We wanted to give you our strength in our own way, so we gave them to Istwar to make it. 
the faith in the CPUs in Gold Third. The entire world's faith dwells in that crystal. Shares are prayers and wishes. If you can convert them into usable energy, then you can essentially create miracles. Of course, its worth is priceless. Go ahead, use it. Go all out. Members of Gold Third, I thank you. power up they've evolved from the wishes of the entire world so in other words it's the ultimate evolution of the CPUs this is their next form next form this is our new power <laughs> amazing 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 power is overflowing from my very core Strike. I don't feel like I could lose. I can feel strong wishes within this power. Everyone believes in us and desires our presence in their lives as CPUs. Together, with the wishes of the people and Gold Third, let's go. Yeah! I'll show you the power of the next form. I'll make you the rust on my Pretty sword. good! to go on the offensive. Huh? 
Now! I'll make you the rust on my sword. Oh. I can go anytime! I'm gonna break you into bits! <laughs> Who should I choose? Gotcha! Too slow! Now, who shall I start? Oh! No. <clears throat> Let's end this. Don't get what? cocky! Use this! Thanks! Now, what shall I do? Bert, you know what to do! Yes. We no longer need words. I'll chop you down! Neptune, I'll leave the rest to you. This is the power of Hyperdimension's next-gen CPUs. <laughs> Too slow! Now, who shall I target? <laughs> now it's my turn to go on the offensive! I can go any time! Don't get what? cocky! My turn. Huh? I'll bring you down! Now, what shall I do? Paris! What? Eat this! I'll make you the rust on my sword. No matter who my opponent is, I'll mow them down! Now, who shall I touch? Not bad. Pretty good. Not bad. I choose you. Let's end this. I'll be the one to end this. Take care of things. Huh? Now it's my Me? turn to go on the offensive. Yuck! What? Leave this to me! Now! Now, who shall I talk? Out! Hmm. Oh, what should I do? I'll heal you! I thank you! Please take care of the rest! I'll live Watch up to and your learn what refined battle tactics look like. Take care of the rest. Now, who shall I start? Perish! Too slow! What? My turn! Come on! Die! What? Who's my opponent? 
Now! I've been waiting. I'm all ready! First aid! Thanks! Please, go ahead! Sorry I'll to keep you waiting. You the rust Time for the soul. star to appear. Pretty good! Ow! My turn! Don't get cocky! Die! Don't get cocky! Now, what shall I do? There! Eat this! Parrot! What? Eat this! Let's end this! Huh? Now! I'll bring you down! Now it's my turn to go on the offensive! Got you! What? Yeah! Got you! Mm. Yeah! Now, who shall I talk? Uh, oh, this my is turn. nothing. Come on! Right. I'm gonna break you into bits! Now, who shall uh, I talk? No! Oh, this is, is my turn. Let's end this. Now! What? Who should I choose? Take care of the rest. Just leave Who wants to, to get me? defeated? Take care of things. Huh? Now, Me? Who shall I uh, What shall I do? Parrot! <laughs> there! Let's end this. I'll bring you down. What should I do? Thanks for the help. I'll heal you. I'm grateful. Please take care of the rest. I'll live it's up to your turn. expectations. Please, go ahead. Looks like now, it's finally my who turn. Shall I talk? No! <laughs> it is my turn. My turn! Use this! I thank you. Here you go. Thanks. Watch and learn what refined battle tactics look like. Turfo! Yeah! Let's end this. This is for game industry. Planet ring deployed. Endure my longsword. This is your end. Easy 
peasy. Justice will. Oh. What is this power? My strength! You cut me down so easily, making me look like a cheap knockoff. Curse you! Curse you! Curse you! Curse you! Curse you, CPUs! But this won't be enough to put an end to my military rule. Give up. The battle is already over. If you surrender quietly, we'll go easy on you. Besides, I'm sure that ninja you care about doesn't want you to push it any further. Not yet. I can still battle. No one can stop my might! Why? Why won't you understand? I bet it's because of that dark aura. Yes, I feel the same negative powers of hate and malice from that aura as I did from the Anti-Crystal. I'm sure he's being consumed by it. Is there no way to save him? There is... one way. His soul... it must be released. That can't be. If that's the only way, then as a ninja serving under the General, I will take upon this task. Steemax! Why are you here? Steemax! You dare draw your blade against your master? Normally, a ninja drawing his blade against his master is absurd. But I will not rescue the general as a ninja, but rather as a friend. To think this is what you've been hiding all this time. You're quite an awkward person. But I won't let you leave this life alone, General. I will travel alongside you. Sorry to cut in when you're getting all sentimental, but I won't allow that to happen. Even if he is the enemy, as a CPU, we will find a way to save him. We'll get to the happy ending together. Pray, Steemax. Pray to save Afimojas and to obliterate the Vortex of Delusion. Neptune, what are you? Esha told us this. If we're able to change the shares into strength, we can create miracles. Be gone, delusions. <laughs> Please, rest assured, I merely cut the power of delusion that was the General's aura. I thank you deeply, Lady Neptune. I'm happy for you. Then, it's finally over, right Neptune? Yes, now that we've defeated the leader, Affimax has collapsed. This was a success. I didn't know what would happen when they got captured, but all's well that ends well. Let's go home, everyone. Histoire is waiting for us. Man, I'm so glad we made it home safe. I honestly thought we were done for. Well, we weren't. We were victorious. Everything is all right with the world now, isn't it? I can finally start hacking away at my gigantic backlog of games. Hey, look over there! It's both the CPUs and Gold Third together! Get a load of that! You're right! Oh, Lady Neptune really does look her best when she's next to Lady Noir. What a beautiful pair! 
Hey! Rom! Ram! As expected, we are super popular, even in Planet Toon. Hello, strange man. Hey, don't talk to people you don't know in other nations, you two. Especially men. Just a moment, Blonde. Isn't there something strange about all of this? Strange? Yes. It's almost as if the people of this city know who we are. That... That's not right. How can that be? As expected of Lady Vert. No matter when I see her, she's always of a sizable volume. I can never get enough of Noir's black pigtails. I want... I want to sniff them so freaking bad! Is it possible they remember us now? Otherwise, it makes no sense. After all, we hadn't come forth as CPUs after the world changed. If that's true, this regained knowledge wouldn't be limited to Planetoon. Let's hurry over to Isti's place. If that's true, she might already have some new info. Welcome home, everyone. It seems you were able to safely destroy Affimax. Well, since I, the protag, was there, it was easy as pie. A cakewalk. Even though you were in a bind, if you're gonna say that, I'll demand 1,000 credits for compensation for my helpful services. 1,000 credits? Uh, yeah, if Gold Third hadn't helped us, we would have been in serious trouble. I also have good news. Perhaps it is because you defeated Affimax, but the world's missing memories of everyone have returned. But why so suddenly? We haven't done anything special in particular. According to the data I've observed, an attack was recorded that seemed to have literally sliced the phenomenon in half. Which means the cause was that attack. This is conjecture, but humor me for a moment. The gem Afimojas carried bore a negative force that was the exact opposite of share energy. You could just feel it even in that dark aura of his. If the changes in the world were created by it, then perhaps when it was destroyed, its effects on the people just vanished instantly. Ooh, as expected of me, not only did I save Afimojas, but I casually saved the world too. I'm sure if the world were to find out about this, my shares would explode to maximum stock. If that happened, I'd probably get pudding and sweets sent in from around the globe. I'd have to deal with pesky fans and paparazzi. I thought I'd offer praises to you for once, but I've just changed my mind. You're right. For Neptune's sake, let us keep this information hidden inside this group. We must not speak of it with the public. No way! <laughs> In any case, I am glad that this incident has been resolved safely. Thank you for your hard work, everyone.
I'm beat. We're at the end, everybody. It all began when we were defeated by Gold Third at the exhibition matches. Please listen to the following messages from Nepgear and others. They're for you. Thank you so much for playing. I ended up showing a little bit of my naughty side, but... Wait, what the goodness is this script? I'm not supposed to be that kind of character! Get off it, Nepgear. Just read your lines and stop messing around. Let's see, where are my lines? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so, champ, was I cute enough for ya? Uh, um... Oh, Yumi, don't you get caught up in Neptune's ridiculousness. The main game isn't even over yet. Huh? Wait, so this script... I thought we were doing the thank you for playing bit that we always do at the end. Weren't we? No, of course not! This is the second time in the series Neptune's pulled this stupid prank. She has a talent for going wild the moment I take my eyes off of her. By the way, about that hyper-share crystal, how did you create it? Oh, about that. Use these to create a share crystal. These are... shards of a golden crystal? The gold crystal. Unlike the CPUs, you cannot absorb the power of faith. Instead, the golden summits were gathering faith and converting it into gold third energy. The crystal's role was to supply it to us. Ah, so that's the structure in which you were able to gain power. Did Bisha not tell you this? No, she did not. Even though there are only shards left, they contain a considerable amount of energy inside. If you use these to create a share crystal, they should receive other share power that is normally not available to them. Is that truly possible? Yes. It is. Esha is very knowledgeable when it comes to crystals. I understand that is a strange concept, so I'll let you decide whether or not to believe me. No, I understand. Thank you. I believe you, Esha. Then it's decided. We'll be using all of your gold crystals as well. I don't mind. Although, like Esha, all I have left are broken shards of mine. I also only have broken shards. But if it will give Noir strength, then please, use them. And what about you, Bisha? Your crystal is still in good shape, yes? Of course! Okay then, please, hand it over. However, like us, your power as Gold Third will weaken. Honestly, you run the risk of losing it, in the worst-case scenario, completely. Thank you for your interest. This gold crystal will be 10 billion credits, please. Uh, huh? Come on! I was just joking! It's a joke! I owe Nep, Nep a debt so huge that no matter how much I pay her back, I'll never make it up. Compared to that, the power of Gold Third is chump change, especially my own. All right, then we've decided. Did you call, Lesha? What's that weird thing? I'm here too. <laughs> Go immediately to Planet Tune's Gold Summit and take the Gold Crystal there. You're both up to the task, right? Leave it to us. Yes, it's no problem at all. And that is what happened. I see. So everyone in Gold Third gave up the source of their strength just for us. Please, don't spend too much time worrying about it. Also, 
My power was for Noir's sake. So please, Noir, think of your new power as me, and use it preciously. <sighs> My sister's power is going to be more trouble to deal with than everyone else's. Mr. General? I see. So, I've lost to the city. But, why do I feel this way? I've been defeated, yet I feel refreshed, as if an evil burden has fallen from me. General, are you feeling all right? Streamax, why are you here? I thought I had dismissed you from Athenax. Even if you fire me from the organization, I am your friend. I'm here right now, not as a ninja serving you, but as a friend. No. No, no, no. Not only did I dismiss you, but I have broken off our relationship as well. You and I are strangers and no longer affiliated. Therefore, you've no connection to this dispute. The responsibility is solely mine. As such, I know nothing of you. Ever since the summer we met, our fates have been the same. I cannot turn the other way and let you take all the blame, General. Oh, why don't you listen to what I say? A friendship between men, how wonderful. I never in my wildest dreams thought I could see such a fiery friendship in this series. I thought I saw Aphimojus as the dominant type, but in regards to Steemax, he crumples and becomes submissive. Yes, this could work. I must record this conversation and show it to the friends in my dojin circle. Hey! They caused the world so much trouble, so this much is within an acceptable range. Everyone, an emergency situation. Hey, it's really shocking if you just randomly blare sirens like this. My ears are ringing. This alarms for emergencies, right? What happened? It has just been discovered moments ago, but a giant hole has opened up in Game Industry Sky. A giant hole? But you can't open a hole in the sky! Can you? What could possibly be happening now?
think I managed to shake them. Oh, what? This place is... Oh! <clears throat> oh, hey! Yeah, I just came from an amusement park. When I was trying to decide to ride the roller coaster or not, I saw a really strange man with a suspicious aura walk by. My buggy senses were tingling, and I thought there might be some rare insect trafficking going down, so I shadowed him. I happened to see a dangerous smuggling deal. It didn't have anything to do with rare bugs, so I started to leave the scene, but then a huge guy just attacked me. So, I had to run for my life. If they would have caught me, I might have been given some suspicious drink that would have shrunk my body or something. Ah, oh, that was so spooky. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you can tell I'm lying, huh? But I'm the only one who can do what I'm doing right now. I won't cause you trouble, but I'd be happy if you didn't ask too many questions, okay? I knew I could trust you. Thanks for understanding. I'll make sure the next VR event goes more normally. Now then, so much happening today. I'd better head back. Sorry I'm always scrambling around. I'll come visit when things have settled. <laughs>